All right, first up, congratulations to retired cattle rancher Dexter Kruger. He was declared Australia's oldest man ever. He recently passed away at the age of 111 years and 124 days. Reports say he's now also a registered voter in Arizona. <laughs> uh, Dexter said his secret is something that might lay an egg with some people. He says eat lots of chicken brains, that that's the key to longevity. Well, you are what you eat, Keith. So eat some brains. I, I'll How try about it. that. Heck yeah. yeah. You know, Dexter told an interviewer, he said, you know, chickens have a head. Mm -hmm. And in there, there is a brain, and they are delicious little things. Yeah. There's only one little bite. I'm sure that's right. That's enough. Now, to find a smaller brain than a chicken brain, you'd have to look inside Eric Swalwell's head. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> That'll get me in trouble. Well, I was just sitting here wondering, if I eat enough chicken wings, uh -huh. will I be able to fly? Don't be ridiculous, Keith. I mean, chickens hmm. can't fly. Well, here's your problem. Okay. You never saw my grandfather walk out into a barnyard <laughs> with an ax. Those chickens flew. <laughs> I bet they did. I knew, they knew he meant business. I, well, and he did, didn't he? <laughs> yes. He did. They flew. Well, anyway, this is great news on two fronts. We now know that if you eat brains, you'll never die. But if you do <laughs> die and become a zombie, at least you'll be used to the diet. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, here's a trio of stories from the smoking gun to prove that gun control activists that banning guns just won't end violence. Because thanks to human creativity, anything can be a weapon. For instance, Keith, in suburban Cleveland, a woman was shopping in Walmart when she spotted another woman that she had a beef with. So she reached into her cart, pulled out a 10-pound tube of ground beef, oh. and whacked the other woman in the face with it. We should have been there to see that. Yeah. I do, too. That would have been <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, just eating a 10-pound tube of beef, that could kill you, uh, probably. <laughs> anyway, the police report described it as a blunt object. Oh, okay. I think it's a good thing it wasn't a sharp cheese. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Attempted murder there. <laughs> Next, a Vero Beach, Florida chef delivered a pizza to his adult daughter's home. She told him she wasn't feeling well and to go away. He allegedly got pretty angry about that, and he threw a pizza slice right in her face. I hope he didn't throw it pointy in first. I mean, that could put an eye out, you know? Anyway, the police arrested him for battery after observing that the ground was covered with pizza toppings, and there was what appeared to be tomato sauce on her face. Her dad, he tried to claim it was just blood, but no, it was tomato sauce. Yeah. It really was. I guess as a chef, he's tossed so many pizzas, he just didn't know his own strength. <laughs> anyway, these stories will make it even harder for Democrats to define an assault weapon. Now, they'll just say anything that's salty that's right. is an assault weapon. That's what they'll say. That was terrible. Finally, and I know how much you love to hear that word, the worst weapon of all, a 60-year-old Clearwater, Florida woman. No, she wasn't the weapon. No. She was mad at her boyfriend, and she got arrested for battery after allegedly throwing soiled dog pads at him. Ooh. Ah, yeah, that's disgusting. Ooh. Well, here's somebody who should have at least been wearing a mask indoors, that's for uh, sure. Uh, who, I mean, the smell alone could kill you. But that's not all. After throwing the dog pads at him, she allegedly sprayed Windex right in his face. I mean, personally, if someone had thrown soil dog pads at me, I would want to be sprayed with Windex at that point. <laughs> Please! Yes, no kidding. Anyway, luckily, the boyfriend was not injured, and his glasses have never been cleaner. Oh. Uh, <laughs> street free. Oh, all right, I better wrap this up before the audience starts throwing things at us. <laughs> but until next time, remember, we read the news. So you don't have to. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not, after all? So, you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below, and hit the notification bell next to it, so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.